Let's take a look outside tonight. You can catch the glimpse of the pink supermoon. Supermoons are bigger and brighter because they are actually slightly closer to the Earth. And although it's called the pink moon, it's not actually pink, but it's the spring moon, which is why we call it pink. And we just had to share this picture, this photograph from Tim Dirk. And Tim, thanks so much. He, he's famous for this I shot. I love it. He has a secret place that he doesn't tell anyone where he gets the <laughs> shot. <laughs> he is not revealing it. But another spectacular photograph, the moon aligning with the space needle there. Beautiful. Oh, what wow. a gorgeous evening, huh? It's gorgeous. Beautiful. So clear enough that we got some good pictures. Yeah. Craig? Yeah, beautiful. And it's still clear right now, uh, at least till until about midnight in many spots, and then the clouds are going to filter in. What a great shot. You're right. I want to find out where his secret spot is. Let's get you going with the graph and give you a little more info on this, by the way. It reached its fullest point at 831 this evening, but still see it through early tomorrow morning. You mentioned it was closer, which is why it appears bigger and brighter. It's about 222,000 miles from Earth right now, and on average, it's about 240,000 miles. So you can see it's a little bit closer. We're going to have another one on May 26th and another one on June 24th. Pretty cool, right? All right, so temperatures today, 50s, upper 50s to low 60s. What a day. Got a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine, nice little breeze. That uh, 61 for SeaTac is right on the money for where we should be for this time of year. The old record, 82 degrees back in 2018. That's a pretty toasty year. So the allergy uh, the, from the Northwest Asthma and Allergy Center, rather, they've sent out their pollen count for tree and grass pollen. It's in the low category. Had a little bit of rain come through, nice breeze coming in. We do have some 40s and 50s at this hour. Not all that bad. We're pretty close to average, and the breeze isn't all that strong, but you'll, you know, nice, little, cool little breeze. We'll bring some more cloud cover tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> look at this dog, Miso. Tongue out, sun's out, tongue out. Look how cute that is. Little cute little doggy enjoying the sunny day today. <laughs> Happy face. A little more cloud cover tomorrow, I think, and we'll have temperatures coming up just a few degrees. We have a couple of 70s in the uh, seven day forecast as well, but this is what it looks like uh, through midnight. Not a whole lot of cloud cover until early tomorrow morning. We wake up to the gray, maybe a light sprinkle or two along the coast, and then most of the afternoon we'll get some sun breaks and a few, uh, a few peaks of sun and a whole lot of cloud cover is what I'm trying to say there. Into Wednesday morning, maybe a chance for a light spotty shower along the Olympic Peninsula to the north as well. Temperatures tonight will drop into the upper 30s and low to mid 40s. Your highs tomorrow, we're back to average, maybe a degree or two warmer than today. And then we'll warm up a little bit more as we go into Wednesday. We'll see more in the way of mid to upper 60s. How about those 70s? Well, they're back at us on Thursday. We'll take it. For a day and then a new system drops in on Friday, gives us some rain. It'll cool off quite a bit this weekend. Mark and Joyce with upper 50s and lower 60s. But hey, we got one day with some 70s and then we get back to, you know, our nice little springtime pattern. Okay. Thank you, Craig. Certainly.